네, 먹어봤어요. 지금도? 아, 저는, 아, 이게, 이게 저는 그런 거예요. 그 소고기나 뭐 돼지고기를, 오리고기를 먹듯이 그냥 다양한 선택지 중에 하나일 뿐이지. 사귀시는 분? So recently in North Korea, Kim Jong-un has ordered all pet dogs to be forfeited to the government in the North Korean capital, Pyongyang, because they want to slaughter them for meat. One source says that dogs are being confiscated to represent the Western decadence because ordinary people raise pigs and livestock on their porches, but high-ranking officials and the wealthy own pet dogs. Yeah, because uh, chicken, cows, pigs, and other animals, well, they're for the peasants, but the rich, the rich have dogs, and therefore, we gotta eat the dogs. But all jokes aside, authorities in North Korea have identified households with pet dogs and are forcing people to give them up or forcefully taking them away from their homes. You grow up with dogs, you care for them, you love them, they're a family. If the government or anyone, for the matter of fact, comes knocking at your door and is demanding that you give up one of your family members because the government is going to chop them up and serve them back to the people, what would you do? So many people's hearts are, must be broken. The people living in Pyongyang who love their dogs and have to just all of a sudden give them up because the government is demanding it. And I know things are really tense, especially here in the US, maybe in your country as well, wherever you're watching this from, but no way is it as bad as you having to give up one of your family members. That That is crazy to think about, that that could ever happen. Check out this video of uh, my friend, uh, Joey Carbstrong, who just posted this about giving away free dog meat in the streets of Australia. It's from Mason Dogs. They're bred for that purpose, so um, it's free range. What did he do? Just you cook it? Or you just yeah. It no, no. This is for sh this is uh, dog meat for human consumption. This is German Shepherd. This is our uh, Labrador. This has a doggy in there. This is made from the doggy. Oh, for humans? Yeah. This is a dog. This is actually a dog in oh, here. Not for dogs. No, it's made out of dogs. <laughs> yeah. Is what would you do? It's for protein, and uh, they're bred for that purpose. So. All oh, right. No. Mate. You don't want it. No. Why not? I don't eat dogs. Why not? Do you, Why? Are you a vegetarian? No, no, no. You're not a vegan? No. Ah. I, eat, I like meat. I don't like, I don't like dog meat. You, so you choose which meat you eat? Chicken. You eat chickens but don't eat dogs? Uh, steak. Yeah, these are dog steaks here. Go. Labrador. But responsibly farmed. You mean Humane from a, slaughter. From a, a real life Labrador. Yeah, so they have uh, Labrador farms. They're humanely raised and then they're humanely, they, they slaughter them, they say in the slaughter, they, how they slaughter a cow for steak. Nah, I'll be all right. Nah, she don't like to eat that. She don't want to eat dogs? No, no, okay. It's pretty crazy, right? Once you put things into perspective, all of a sudden that cultural shift means nothing. Um, you know, people in Pyongyang, people in North Korea, or at least the government, so they say, cows, chickens, pigs, you know, those, those are for the peasants. You know, we gotta eat what the rich people have. They have dogs, that's a decadence, right? And then you come over here in the States or any other country, we love dogs, we love cats, we grow up with them, we care for them, but, but eating them, oh no, that's appalling. I posted a video a long, long time ago about the Yulin dog meat festival that happens in China. People are hurt, as you should be. You know, why would you ever want to see a dog or even a cat go through that? But ask yourself, why do we let it happen to all the other animals? What, what makes them different? Why do they not have the option to be loved and cared for? And I want to know in the comments down below, what would you do if you lived in Pyongyang and that happened to you and your family? Would you give up your dog? Would you resist? Would you fight back? But seriously, watch some of the YouTube videos in North Korea. I mean, it's, it's, it's a scary world and you really got to take every single second and appreciate it. And if you're upset about Kim Jong-un taking away the dogs of these families, then definitely consider going vegan. But don't listen to me. These are just my thoughts. I hope you guys are having a great day. Subscribe down below for more videos just like this and we'll see you in the next one.